Over here, our task is to find numbers so that you, when, when you multiply those numbers, you get 60. And many different possibilities. What times what makes 60? Give me one possibility. Well, 60 is in the table 10, right? So we could write 6 times 10. What else? Well, we just studied the table of 12. It's there too. How many times 12? 5 times 12. What else? Notice it is an even number. You could write 2 times something, 2 times 30. Then we have 1 times 60, right? But here I want to write 3 times something. Can you tell me what? 20, yeah, math is right. 3 times 20. Lots of possibilities. And one more, 4 times something, too. 4 times 15. How about the same for 36? Again, there's going to be many, many possibilities. Can you find them all? I'm going to start out with the rhyming one, remember? 6 times 6, yep. And then, okay, it's in the table of 4, remember? 4 times 9. And what else? Well, it is in the table we are studying today. 3 times 12. And it is an even number. So there must be something, 2 times something, 2 times 18, and then there's 1 times 36 too. Here is a pattern. It has 3's, times 3, 0, 3, 6, 9. These are going by 3's, and here we have the table of 3. 0 times 3 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9, 6 times 3, you tell me, 18, 9 times 3, the table 9, it's less than 30, it's 27. Now, can we see a pattern here in the answers? What's happening in the answers? I'll do one more. 12 times 3 is 36. You see what pattern? We have seen this before, haven't we? It even has 9, 8, 7, 6, 1, 2, 3. It's the table of 9, isn't it? So, here I should have 45, right? 15 times 3. 3 times 15, yeah, 45. And then I can write 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4, and 3, and 2. And here's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7. Interesting, right? Lastly, Matthew. Puzzles again. You know, this is our last lesson on multiplication tables. So, to make everybody happy, I wanted to have some more puzzles. Right? You love puzzles too? Matthew does. Two numbers. You multiply them, you get 60. But if you subtract them, you get 7. Hmm. Well, I hope you see the answer quickly. We even have here all the possibilities, or many possibilities, for you to try. You could try 3 and 20. You could try 2 and 30. But this time it's going to be 12 and 5 that work, right? Matthew, I'll let you do the last one. Two numbers. You multiply them and get 48. But if you subtract them, you get 2. Can you tell me? Guess and check will work as usual. Matthew will write the answer. And then you can check. Did you get 8 and 6? All right. What's that, Matthew? <laughs> You're silly. It's a victory dance. For what? Ah, for all the multiplication tables. All the multiplication, all the multiplication tables are done. He's so happy. Hope you too.